Hey guys, thanks for joining me for DIY tips and tricks with nailgasms. Sally Beauty has a wide range of polished colors and brands to choose from. Today I'll be sharing with you some of my picks from the nail studio wall at Sally Beauty to create these fun and colorful summer watermelon nails. Before we get into the art, let's talk nail shaping. Take a manicure file and file from the outer corner to the center of your nail. Once you're done filing all of your nails, make sure to flip your hand around to check from both angles to ensure that your nails are filed evenly. Don't forget to brush off excess nail dust. I know a lot of us haven't been able to visit our favorite nail salons due to COVID-19. If you're experiencing brittle or thin nails, give Orly's Nailtrition a try. It's super easy to use at home. Apply one coat every day for one to two weeks as needed. Now that your nails are healthy and well shaped, let's get polishing. I'm using OPI's Alpine Snow, Big C's Tomatillo, and OPI's Madam President. While we wait for those two coats to dry, let's make some watermelon nail art decals. Here I'm using OPI's Black Onyx, Tomatillo, OPI's Susie the First Lady of Nails, and Madam President. We'll need a plastic sheet protector and a palette. Dab a dot of Madam President on the palette. Using this art brush by Winning Nails, paint tiny triangles and half circles on the sheet protector. Keep in mind we'll be putting multiple of these decals on each nail, so don't draw them too big. Next, dab Tomatillo on the palette. Draw the rind at the bottom of the pink shapes. To add depth, take Susie, the first lady of nails, and draw tiny, tiny lines on the rind. Depending on the size of your decals, add two or three of these dark areas. We can't forget the seeds. Take black onyx and draw tiny seeds with a gentle flicking motion of your brush. Put the decals aside to dry while we design our green nails. Using OPI's Susie, the first lady of nails, paint a bunch of short horizontal lines down the nail to make a stripe. Got some on your skin? No worries. Dip a cleanup brush in acetone and wipe away. It's like magic. Place Alpine Snow and Tomatillo on your palette to mix a light green. Use the same method as before to paint a line between the dark green to complete the watermelon rind. Depending on the width of your nail, you may need three to five stripes total. Make sure your decals are dry and use tweezers to gently peel the DIY decals off the sheet. These decals make it easy to achieve the same look on both dominant and non-dominant hands. Plus, you can always make them in advance to use later. Apply a little bit of top coat where you'd like your decal. Quickly place and press the decal onto your nail. Apply as many decals as you'd like. Remember to use a variety of different shapes and sizes. Once all the decals are on the nails, use Tomatillo, Susie the First Lady of Nails, and Madam President to add cute polka dots. Make sure to use light pressure. Lastly, apply your favorite top coat. I absolutely love how this top coat gives the same shine as gel polish. Make sure to apply a generous coat over your nail decals. Now head on over to your local Sally Beauty, recreate this fun summer look, and tag me! Thank you for all your support thus far in getting me to the semi-finals. I hope you enjoyed these DIY tips and tricks. I'll see you again soon!